Toshiba brought out its first ever portable laptop in 1985, and now in 2011 it finally entered into the desktop market with the Toshiba All-in-One. This is a huge change for Toshiba and a big gamble, but shows how the market is changing. Does this all-in-one meet the quality and the standards of Toshiba products? How well does it stack up to the competition? My name is Muhammad from Product Feedback and we're going to find out. Taking a look around the Toshiba all-in-one, on the right hand side we have the media controls and a DVD burner. However, the higher end model also has a Blu-ray player. On the left side we have an SD card slot, headphone, microphone as well as two USB 3.0 connections which are backward compatible to USB 2. Now this Toshiba comes in two iterations. Both use an Intel Core i5 processor, Intel inbuilt graphics and feature a very nice 21.5 inch full high definition touchscreen. That is 1920 by 1080 so it is a very sharp and high resolution screen. However, these days I would have expected at least a 23 inch. One model comes with 4 gig of RAM and a 320 gig hard drive, whereas the higher end model has 6 gig of RAM and a 1 terabyte hard drive, which is also slightly faster. There are some more slight differences and more information can be found on our website, link in the description. Around the back, we've got a few more USB connections, TV, tuner, Ethernet. However, the computer does come with inbuilt wireless and a HDMI output. So, this is Toshiba's desktop solution, but who is it targeted at? In my opinion, I believe this is a very good solution for those not wanting to upgrade their PC for at least 3 years. What? Why do I say this? Well, with Windows 8 just around the corner, people are wanting to ensure that they can experience the full operating system when it's released. As Windows 8 is based on this new touchscreen interface, having the touchscreen is a nice feature. It works well and when, touchpad, uh, when touched actually responds quickly and accurately. Although it's quite limited by the software Windows 7, some applications still do a very good job. This computer is an entertainment center. It comes with a nice wireless keyboard, mouse and remote control. You can use the inbuilt TV tuner to watch digital TV or watch movies on the full high definition screen. The speakers surprisingly are actually really good. The bass and the actual loudness of them are surprising and the best I've heard from any computer such as this. Gaming performance is reasonable. I was able to play some Unreal Tournament as a test and it worked well. There is no lag and the PC should be able to run games like WoW and Counter-Strike for anyone that's interested. One problem we did occur with the computer is that the inbuilt microphone kept thinking that the speakers were too loud. It had huge conflicts in Skype and the audio was not coming through clearly to the other user. Even after adjusting everything, I could not get it to work correctly. This is a similar issue that has occurred on some laptops that I've tested as well. So hopefully Toshiba can rectify this with, the, with a software update or something. So, the time has come to answer the question we set out earlier. Is it worthy to carry the Toshiba name? The computer is well built and feels like a solid device. The touchscreen works very well and has decent specifications. Apart from it needing to be a slightly bigger screen and the microphone issue, I am happy to recommend it. I'll give this computer 4 stars and a product feedback silver award. It is definitely a good step in the right direction for Toshiba. Now don't forget to check out our channel for more reviews like this or shoot us a tweet at, at product feedback. I am Muhammad and peace be with you. To be updated on the latest product feedback videos, make sure that you have subscribed.